that is a volume cover. <laughs> I'm, you know, a part of me is kind of like thinking, like, how did how did people react when, like, they saw this cover? You know, like when when they're trying to buy a comic, you know, you know, or or a manga in in, in the bookstore, and then they see. Berserk. Now, obviously, Berserk. The Berserk manga nowadays are are mostly, you know, the, the deluxe volumes, the you know, the the big black ones. But like, I wonder how people feel if they actually saw this just laying there in in the bookstore, like uncensored. You know, like, hey yo, you know. But beautiful, beautiful volume art um, from Miura, that's for sure. So. Potentially the final volume of the Golden Age. Storm of Death. We continue on to see Rickard looking at the potential battle between Zod and the Skull Knight. Z Zod? Why? Why is Zod in a place like this? And then that's the same from. What the hell's going on around us? All of us? Hmm. <laughs> so you did come. You, who've been our foe for a millennium. I figured you wouldn't let this change slip past. And you were given the command to guard the gate, immortal one. Hardly. I have no interest in their indulgent spree. What I seek. Art is strong. You should know that, old rival. Void would say that this too lies within causality's current. Well then, I wager myself upon my sword. <laughs> ah, it's it's ah uh, these these two characters are so interesting. Um, I mean I've talked a bit about like how I feel about the Skull Knight and Zod, but hmm. Hmm. Though this is, this does confirm that the both of them have like no major ties or connection with um the god hands, you know. Like they're not sent here by them. It's more so that they are just doing their own thing, you know? Like one of them is giving kind of prophetic advice to guts right zod saying hey man your your friend here you know uh when the time comes the time will come you know and then skull knight of course kind of doing the same thing right um so yeah it's 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 very interesting i mean i mean they both have their own um objectives in mind zod probably thinking of like yeah i'm just going to wait outside here because when all of this is over, obviously there's going to be one, and we know who, Guts, is going to be out here alive, and that's going to be my opponent, you know? Like, that's what I'm looking for. Whoa, okay. Grotesque and erotic in many, many ways. Though not really um, fun for the people who are being slaughtered and eaten. And Casca just standing there. Completely, you know. What can you do at a time like this? Big sis! Snap out of it! Mm. Pippin coming in. Run! Pippin, go! Run! Run! You have to survive! You gotta live! Judo coming in. What are you doing, Judo? Let go! Pippin's... Oh, that face from Pippin, though. He's giving it his all. Go back, Judo. You're just gonna let him die? It's no use. You have to survive. You're our leader now. You must go on living. As long as our leader's alive, we are not finished. Berserk pulling though. We need You need to live, card. Which I love. You think 
You think I'm gonna let it all hidden like this? Yeah, it must be really hard, especially for Casca, right? Having to leave her men behind, getting slaughtered. Though, again, it's like, what do you do? You leave them to die, but you also gotta live, right? The men are willing to sacrifice themselves because they know that they can die and the band of the hawk will not change. But if Casca dies, then the band of the hawk will change forever, right? It's... It is what what will happen when, when a leader dies, right? <sighs> Captain. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Corcus, especially, just looking at the sheer horror of, like, seeing your teammates, your, your friends, your family just getting completely annihilated and getting eaten alive. And I think Mira has done a spectacular job at, like, just showing that, that fear in their expressions. Corcus, a lot more. Um, a lot, uh, showing a lot more insanity. Um, you know, the the running away while also smiling and, and and laughing. You know, like like yeah, this is this is too absurd for me that I am no longer screaming in in terror. I am screaming out of pure insanity. Like yeah, he he is broken. <sighs> a dream. It must be a dream. This is all a bad dream. Here, look. Here's proof. It don't hurt. <laughs> it don't hurt a bit. Hey, wake up, me. Enough's enough. <laughs> but still, where the hell did I come up with this dream? Middleland, the band of the hawk. It ain't far-fetched for it all to be to be a dream. When you think about it, it was way too good to be true for me anyway. So yeah, it's all a dream. This is a dream. <laughs> I'll wake up and I'll, it'll be all. It'll all be over. I'll wake up and I'll be nobody again. <laughs> ah, shit. The stream might not be so bad after all. Uh, ah, shit. They, they, they really are playing not just with their emotions, but also with their, um, with their mind. Oh, looky here, a woman in hell. I knew this was a dream. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Why? A guy like me. Huh. Damn it. D oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's... That's... D d that's the monster, right? That... That's the one that Guts was, um... F that Guts was, f um, um, killing in, in, in the very first, um... Page of the manga. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I do remember the, the design of, of the monster having, like, yeah, very similar to this. Um, if it's not, then that's cool. But if it is, then it would be really, really cool. Um, and also, especially, like, just the, the full circle moment of, like, Guts going after, like, the ones who actually killed his comrades. Oh, man. Well, Rip Corcus. Why? Why? Is this hell? Did we sin that much? Is this where our bloodstained journey comes to an end? Or is this really the nightmare you wanted? Answer me, aw. Oh. Answer me, Griffith. You can definitely feel the pain in her heart, um, in her voice there. Oh, oh man, Judo's arm getting, oh no, oh no, I mean, I know they're all gonna die except for Casca, but, are you alright, Judo? Yeah, you saved me. Judo, your arm, that's enough, let's just go back, no way, 
It's the same wherever we run. They'll follow us forever. We don't even know if there's an exit. At least, at least let's fight beside everyone to the end. Shut up. You'll bite your tongue. Judo, struggle. Keep struggling and struggling until the end of ends. Then struggle some more. There's no fighting just to die. Ooh. Love that line. Love that line. It's 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 very encouraging, right? The world is, is cruel and painful, but you gotta you gotta keep at it. Never give up. That's what I'd say if I were him, right? What the fuck is that? Oh man, Judo. He's a good man, that's for sure. You don't have to. Move, move, stupid. Why, that's enough. Stop. At this rate, at this rate, you'll... My last, my last one shoots it, hits it, Casca coming in, slashing it, did it hit, my last knife, yeah, yeah, it hit, you killed it, now go, what? What are you saying? Didn't you just say we'd struggle to the very end? Now on your feet, no complaining. I'm taking you if I have to drag you. Oh, you see the smile on Judo's face like he has accepted it. Unlike Guts, I'm kind of fragile. Okay, no need to shout. I'll stay with you even if I gotta crawl. I shouldn't have said all that. Yeah, you bet you're coming with me. Take responsibility for what you say. I'm all talk after all. Really? Oh, this POV of his oh of his eyes slowly closing. I've always tried to be a smooth talker, but in the end, I missed my chance to say it, to tell you that important thing. But now, these must be my last words. You sure do cry a lot, you know. Oh. Although personally, I always thought I was a bit smoother than that. Judo? Ju <sighs> Gotta keep struggling on. Well, shit. Sacrifice. A sacrifice. A woman. Sacrifice. Woman sacrifice. Sacrifice. Eat now? Guts? Eat her now. Sacrifice. Before that. Before that. Sacrifice. Yes, before that. Guts? Well, I know where this is going. Oh... Here it comes. Here it comes. Meanwhile, Guts still struggling on. Did he? Yeah, he, he just cut a part of, 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 of one of the monsters and used it as a spear. That's... Yeah... Perpetual cycle of being beaten. Hmm. 
Hmm, the boy does do his best. It's ironic, though. The stronger his life force and the greater his anguish, the more they become precious bread for the new life of darkness. So he dreams, blessed child. Oh, this imagery of, of Griffith, though, kind of slowly being molded and being reborn. Yeah, it really does look like like, yeah, it's, it's, it's like if you're inside of an egg or a cocoon and you're being evolved into a higher being. Until now, you have been a dream called Griffith. And when that dream ends, you will awaken into a dream from which you will never awake in a night that will never break. Wow. You will forever be in this dream and you will never get away from it. Damn. Oh, those eyes that, that Guts is giving as he's like looking back at Griffith though. I'm sinking. Is this, um, Griffith? Father from the light. Where? Where is this? Where is my body? I'm sinking. Deep. What is this? Beautiful. That's all I have to say. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I love the imagery that we're we're showing here. All their deaths are pre are piercing through me. I wish for it. I killed them. It's strange I don't feel anything. I'm sinking. Wow. Wow. Interesting. It's it's, it's almost as if like this is Griffith's like last piece of humanity slowly being erased and being, you know, forgotten, sinking into the abyss, right? Out with the old, in with, in with the new, and even the imagery of, like, Griffith slowly um, disintegrating, or at least this version of Griffith. What's this? The crystallization of your last tears shed. When suffering so profound as to make someone rip themselves apart, is confronted with the a heart is frozen. Something, something's there. Pellets? Ooh, hang on. They are splashes, droplets of ideas that have spilled from the sea to eternity, summons to the other world. God? What the fuck? God of the Abyss. Whoa! This is... This is some cosmic horror shit. Great, great panel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just guts over and over and over and over again, killing all of the monsters as as best that he as as he can. He falls. He's gonna see all of the all of the bodies. Is this blood? <gasps> oh. oh, complete despair. 
Is it anyone? Is it anyone still alive? Judo, Pippin, Corcus, Raiders, Cask. Oh, and I love the way the background for this specific panel is just pure noise. Like, out of everyone that, that got just, just name, Casca is obviously the one that triggers him the most. C Captain. That's you, isn't it? Over here. G Gaston? Gaston, you're, you're all right. <laughs> I don't feel all right. What's the word? The Raiders. Where are the other survivors? I don't know. I was too busy running around. Next thing I knew, I'm like this. I don't know what happened to the others. Captain. What the hell is going on here? What do you think all this? It don't seem real. It's like we're in the middle of some dream someone's having. Thinking about it, ever since that Zod monster showed up in front of us, it felt like something's been off. I'm sure that since that time we've been dragged into something strange. Gaston, that's enough. Stop talking. Nah. Maybe the band of the hawk itself was. For a regular guy like me, those days were too grand, too vivid. After the victory parties, things always seem so sad for some reason. Like when I opened my eyes in the morning, it had all up and vanish. That's how it felt. Everything about Boss Griffith was, as a person was just too different from us. Just like he was someone out of a legend. <laughs> we got pulled into the middle. Of some crazy story someone wrote. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's Mura. <laughs> no, but, but for real though, really interesting the way he's framing all of this. Because this is Griffith's dream. Like, everybody has been following Griffith's dream since, like, the moment they decided to join the Band of the Hawk, right? It's always been Griffith's dream, and, and, and it will continue to do so. This part is a nightmare for a lot of people, but for Griffith, this is probably, like, the happiest that he's ever been. Look, I'm just a minor character. Damn. Going real... Oh, sh... I just saw that his head exploded. Fuck. I'm just a minor character. And it turns into that. Gust. P Pippin? Pippin, you're all... Nah, bro, Pippin. He's just standing there, bro. Like, he's already dead, bro. He's already dead. He's already dead. Oh! <sighs> Splice into her. Into the... What do you do, Guts? What do you do? Oh. Just the framing and, and like how much a lot of these. It's, it's just the fact that how Guts is like minuscule compared to like everything else. Like you can definitely feel the despair. Wasn't 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 the monster that defeated Pippin like the monster that uh that got fought during um um the earlier chapters during during the Black Swordsman arc during the Guardians of Desire or am I thinking of something else? I do remember it showing up um when it was fighting Pip um sorry um Rickard though know? like like that's pretty much confirmed um. I just kind of forgot, like, the actual design of it. It looks similar, but but I'm not sure if it is. Might have to ch check it out again after I'm fi I'm, I finish um, reacting to this. Ah, <sighs> well, well. 
all of your friends, your your family, if you will. Bastards. Oh, oh no. First of all, this panel of guts screaming bastards is beautiful and conveys so much emotion. Second of all, um, we have arrived at... at <coughs> <coughs> sorry. We have arrived at the scenery. It's not a really good scenery, that's for sure. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. You know, I think Berserk is... I mean, I haven't read a lot of mangas, but... The way Miura conveys Guts is like... Pure rage and anger. Basically, Guts is like entire range of emotions. I think it's probably one of the best depictions of it. Like, just... Like, like look at this! It's also because he he didn't drew um, his pupils. Like, it's just completely white. The void of any emotion in his eyes, but fully encompassing every single possible emotion that you can think of on the exterior. Mm. Incredible. Incredible. And here he comes. This shot of Griffith, or I guess Femto now, is beautiful. The birth, the fifth blessed king, the new demon king, Void, Slan, Ubik. Conrad, thou art our extension, our new kinsman, to wear the mantle of evil. The wings of darkness, Femto. Oh, and the way it's depicted, yeah, it's, it, it does look like a bird just hatching for the very first time. That's a shot right there. Oh man, why, why does Pemto has the sauce? You know, look, look he's, he's, he's gonna rape Tosca and that's gonna be a really bad thing to happen. But man, Pemto got that, you know, extravagant feel to him. Based, just, just from like his appearance and also his... um. His presentation in context of the story, it's... Mira's done a pretty good job. Griffith? Griff. Well. Here it comes. <sighs> trying to get away, trying to break free of, of the job, but obviously he can't. 
the eyes that it's being on this the ah guts is complete oh Casca finally waking up and regaining consciousness. Cri what Griffith always wanted. Yep, here comes the scene where Guts tries to break free, cutting his own arm. The God Hands just having a having a laugh, just looking at this pure. Despair on display. Holy shit, that the ah, uh, I mean, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Guts' expression throughout this entire time has been phenomenally well done. The arm breaks. Griffith. How do I, how do I, how do I say it? Um, Griffith has planted the seeds, if you will. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not going to scream that. Just one look from Griffith and every and every other monster starts to pin him down. Such beauty, it touches me. Love, hatred, pain, pleasure, life, death, all are there. This is to be human. This is to be evil. Casca's crying. No. No, no. Don't look. And there goes his eye. That is so fucking raw. <laughs> I'm I'm just in awe in, in, in these panels, man. It's it's so good. And so the eclipse cracks. Skull Knight coming in. Yeah. So what happened between you and Zod? You know, like what 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 happened in, in, in between? Like the guy settle your differences? Hello? Um yeah. Skull Knight comes in. Huh. Skull Knight tries to hit Void's brain. Void creates a 
void portal and then as the sword pierces the void then the sword kind of comes back and hits the skull knight instead but the skull knight already used the shield for it okay cool oh the way the way the two of them just you know looking eye to eye like hmm remember me <laughs> Oh, oh, like quick work. No, no hassle whatsoever. Just immediately destroys all of the monsters that are in his way. <laughs> Femto trying to destroy the, the Skull Knight, but to no avail. Trying to squish him all into into one, but nah. He escapes. Takes Casca and guts with him. Femto trying to reach, looks at guts. And he doesn't do it. Astounding, fascinating, how unforeseen. An unpredictable thing happens at the temporal junction point, albeit an extremely minute thing. It's impossible to anticipate everything. We ourselves are not gods, after all. Is this all still within the realm of causality? Or else this too was fated to happen. Either way, the leaping of one fish would never disturb the flow of the river, and time has again begun to flow. Or the fifth angel has been born. The time of darkness descends. Wickedness, sacredness, illusion, reality, hatred, love, hostility, hope, the dead, the living. An age when every darkness shall eclipse the light. Yes, as when the moon covers the light of the sun. I suppose that's what people will call it afterwards. The age of darkness. <laughs> Zod cut his arm cut. <laughs> well, I guess that answers my question. Uh, amazing. I think someone could match. No, he fought even better than Zod. Well, surprise, surprise. G cuts. Casca. Hmm. Hmm. These two are not yet destined to die. There is no time. See to their wounds. <laughs> I love I love how I love how the Skull Knight just rescued them. Sees Rickard, the youngest of them all, and goes, Alright, here we go. Um, take care of them. Good luck. They're in terrible shape. What the what, what the heck? Where are the others? Hurry! Yes, 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 sir. The see to their wounds. Uh, how, 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 how? Oh, yeah, this. Zod just looking from behind. That's it. That's who I want to fight. Move aside. <laughs> nah, Zod is going to realize that, that Guts is like not in his prime. Like, so he's obviously going to send him away. Never mind this. Continue. If 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 you say so. <laughs> Poor Rickard. Don't think that what just happened settled anything. Of course not. But immortal. Consider delaying a battle. What nonsense. That man. You mean that he survived? From the eclipse. <laughs> Interesting. Very well. We'll put this fight on hold. For the sake of his mad luck. No, I ought to say bad luck. But don't forget, this doesn't decide the outcome of our battle. You should hurry. Once the gate vanishes, they're all, they'll all pour out. 
Are you done? F for now. Th th this medicine's incredible. The bleeding stopped before I knew it. Ah. Uh, you must have moved them yet. Hey, what in the world's happening inside that whirlwind? This is the band of the hog. It's everyone else inside? No one is left. No one. This too is connected. Will you come? Of course, I can't leave Guts and Casca like this. But the others... Whoop. <laughs> just just grabs Rickard and off they go. So he survived the eclipse. Interesting. Show me now. How is it you'll struggle as no more than a man through the world of darkness? In the wilderness of the dead that extends before you. Branded swordsman. Ooh. The way he said that. Yeah. Yeah. We are slowly getting there. I mean, I mean, we are close to, to the beginning of the manga, right? Black swordsman. The brand. Ah. Uh. We gotta see Casca being completely um, destroyed mentally, though. And forgetting everything. Wait, where's everybody going? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, this sucks. Oh, no. That's looking at the... Oh. Stop right now. Don't go that way. That way is bad news. Judo. Corcus, Pippin, no, don't go, turn back. Don't go. Don't go. <sighs> Who's there? Guts, you're awake. Okay. I wasn't expecting her to... Uh... <laughs> okay, inter interesting comedy. Me! <laughs> Erica? Oh, Erica, you slipped because you ran too fast. Rickard? Why? G Guts? No fair, I was first. You're awake now. I I thought maybe it was too Erica was the one who uh who was helping Guts, right? Um during the time when Guts was away from the Ben and the Hog. Um because I don't remember remember Guts um traveling and being with uh I guess a swordsmith, the one who uh who was helping him and, and you know, making his new sword and such. Or am I thinking of somebody else? I thought maybe it was too late. You haven't moved at all in four days. Where am I? Why are you two together? These are the hills near my home, and this is Daddy's or Cave. Or Cave. You all surprised us good. Rickard here showed, shows up all of a sudden and says he was injured, people. Then we looked, and it was you, Guts. R Rickard. I was surprised, too. I never thought you guys already knew Guts. This weird night. You brought us all here. Night? Griffith's rescue. These injuries? What? What happened to the others? Others. Immediately thinks of Casca. Yep, yep, yep. Casca. Where's Casca? Casca's. <laughs> Where? Do you want to see Casca? She's over there. Here we go. Here comes the pain. Casca. Um. Uh. Casca. Cas. Cas. 
Costco. What's with you? That's enough. It's over now. Casca. She doesn't understand. She doesn't even know you, Guts. There's no time for joking around, Cus. Oh, dear, here. Yes, he's a scary, scary man. Shame on you, Guts. You shouldn't bully Casca. And you're gonna catch a cold if you keep going in the water with your clothes on. She's been that way ever since she woke up, up two days ago. Her bodily injuries have healed already, but she doesn't understand. She doesn't remember. Not you. Not me. The only one she trusts is Erica. Guts, where do you mean to go? In that shape. Guts, stop. You can't push yourself. It could do you in. Besides, you're not supposed to go outside no matter what. He said so. Okay. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Casca is not only traumatized, but she's also... She has completely lost herself as a person, you know, like. Interesting, interesting. I love how we're using life in general, just looking at guts. You know, like animals. <sighs> the sprint. Remembering his talk with Judo. I love the bands are with Corcus and everybody in the band of the Hawk. The snowy hill fight, Pippin. The golden age. Ah, oh, the... The way it gets is like just crying and hope being completely hopeless. He's just running away. Oh. Left alone in the field in the dark. As it starts to rain. Beautiful imagery of of guts just, just you know just just laying there in the grass fields we've seen this imagery before or at least something similar to this many a times during berserk like it's kind of a motif at this point but <sighs> here comes the monsters because you've been branded what more of that nightmare again? You should take heed, Skull Knight. From now on, this is your world. The boundary between the mortal world and that of the dead. The what? The interstice? Interstice? The boundary between the mortal world and that of the dead. And that of the dead. He's the one from that time. Use this. What's with the sword? Swords than a sword that can actually, you know, fight off these ghostly spirits, I guess. 
what is this? The, this response, like cutting through water. These are the dead spirits that roam about this place. Being dead, they now cling to life. They have swarmed together in their desire for your warm flesh and blood. The brand of sacrifice. It has drawn those of darkness. Blood, life, give me life. Let us in. Let us in. Inside you. No thanks. Let us inside this body. Oh, yeah, yikes. But Guts is able to resist. Steal yourself. Otherwise, you will be haunted to your death. After all, to them you are a torch tossed into the darkness. No doubt you shine through brilliantly for them. This is the reality that you must walk through from here on. A world invisible, a world invisible to eyes of the flesh. You must stand in the interval between two worlds that, while mutually significant, do not make contact with each other. Why? That is the destiny of those who receive the brand of sacrifice. Your body, and every last drop of blood in it, has been given as an offering to those of the darkness. Destiny. Destiny, 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 shut the hell up! How about you save your high and mighty crap for after I've been haunted to death, skullface? Sacrifice? Offering? Destiny? What spot in a bunch of cryptic explanations? The point is, this is war. It ain't different from any other war. The last one standing wins. Listen here. I'm beating all of you back down to hell. Tell those ugly, pale-faced bastards for me. If I get hit, I will hit back. Tell them, leaving me half in is gonna be the end of you. I'll hunt and kill all those wretched monsters, all of you, down to the last one. This is my declaration of war. Should anyone trample that dream, he would oppose him body and soul, even if the threat were, hmm, the struggler indeed. The strength is unmistakably the reason he survived the eclipse. What? It's over already? Wrong. They have found it. Another torch. Torch? More cryptic. <sighs> gotta lend me those. Gotta lend me that horse for a bit. Hurry up. Mm -hmm. This is cool, man. This is cool. Guts riding in with the Skull Knight. No! This is now twice that I've carried you. Do not be thrown. <laughs> No, no. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm reading the next chapters because I'm sure, I'm, I'm, I'm sure the, the, the golden age is about to end like pretty soon. All right, let's continue Berserk for just a little bit more when it comes to the golden age. Demon infant, huh? The one that guts always sees in his nightmare, in the, be in the beginning of the Black Swordsman arc. At this point, it's, I'm pretty sure that it's Casca's. Whoa, through the night forest, just like the wind. You said this makes twice you've carried me. What's that mean? I'm the one who carried you both from that otherworldly land. What? Don't thank me. It was incidental. This too has some connection. Who the hell are you? I am the foe of the Inhumans. That's all I'll say for now. Sounds good enough for me. <laughs> no. If your enemy is the, is the ones that are trying to kill us, alright, that's good enough for me. Why'd you bring us to these mountains? I've never told anyone else about this place. Well, I merely brought you to the nearest safe place to that otherworldly gate. 
Formerly, elves lived in those mountains. Even though the elves have left, the earth's energy is strong. It was a most suitable place in which to hide from those of the darkness. I didn't know you had some connection to the place. It was chance. Likewise, what saved you from death was the elf dust that your friend by chance had with him. A lot of chances, right? Destiny and fate. Elf dust? Medicine of the highest quality. It is not easy to come by. Damn. Crazy. I mean, at this point, we know that Rickard kind of traveled along with Puck, but he doesn't know Puck. So there, there is that chance encounter, or I guess destined encounter of Guts meeting with Puck later down the line in the future, because Puck may have a role in, in keeping Guts alive during, during the eclipse, right? Seldom do elves reveal themselves to humans. Maybe you have some tie to the elves. Even so, I suppose, you have no desire to believe in destiny and such. Yeah, not now. But if we're supposed to hide ourselves, why is Casca? Perhaps she's gone outside the ore cave. If she doesn't want the evil spirits to approach, she mustn't leave that place. I wonder what's like, what, like the, the actual significance of the cave. You know, like, why is this cave safe against everything else? I don't think it has anything to do with the elves and such, though it is nice lore. All the better if it's a place in the sunlight, but once the sun sets or if she t or if she walks into a dark forest, the dead will gather around her. Like what just happened to you? Hey, wait a minute. Then that means from now on, she has to stay inside that cellar? Casca does- There. Aw. Oh. She's just standing there. Ah, uh, Cass, wait! Something's wrong. The evil spirits aren't inflicting harm upon her, yet so many are gathered. Why? Too late, the damage already done. Casca, hey, you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, uh, Casca? What's wrong with you? Casca. Nope. 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 You got a demon coming out of nope. No, 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 no. That is nightmare fuel. Of the highest degree. The demon! Casca <sighs> saving it. Casca, move! What are you doing? It's her child. That girl was with the child. That shapeless fetus, which was only just conceived was possessed by evil, probably due to her sexual relations with the new god hand. Oh fuck, that's Guts the son- That was Guts' child. Griffith tainted that. I think that's what they're trying to say. At first, I thought that was just straight up Griffith's, like, child, you know, but then again, it's, like, so soon that it wouldn't be inherently possible, but if it's Guts's, it's a lot more probable. And 
and so it has taken on the nature of a demon. It's a cursed child. That means... Wait. It would be best to kill it. That's no human child. Someday it will bring woo upon you both. That means it's... Shut up, hold on a minute! He was about to, but, but Casca took it again. This is a demon. One of those who devoured our comrades and made you this way. No. And as the sun shines, it goes away just like any other of the demons. So, it's your child. This doesn't mean it has become dust, like the other evil spirits chased by the light. It has slipped into a place nearer the world of the dead. Someday it will appear before you both again. All children yearn for their parents, as do demons in their own way. Holy shit. I was about to say parallels, but not really. Because Guts kind of, you know, came into this world with her mother already dead and hanging, right? But here it's 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 kind of like the complete opposite. It's like Ugh, it's it's much worse. Rigard, farewell. We will likely meet again, should destiny dictate. If you mean to pursue the inhumans, follow the guidance of that brand. It reacts strongly to evil. But mind this, yours is a black path through the night. When you confront those who lurk in the darkness, you also envelop yourself in it. Good journey, struggler. Nah. <sighs> Maybe a bit of time skip because obviously we need to arm ourselves, as the chapter title says. That is one ugly mother ever. Whoa, 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 dumbass bastards. What are you doing in the middle of the road? Hey, man. Hey, hey. What is that? Don't get involved. God's sake. Sun ups and vanishes. Nothing but bad omens happening. Sacrifice. Oh, 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 hold on now, Erica. Shh, this way. Should we really be? There's the ornament. Oh, there's there's the crossbow. There's the crossbow. Oh shit. Incredible, so many weapons and armor. They say my dad is so good, he's really famous in town. He used to make swords and armor for the local lord. And that's not all. Bows and arrows, cannons, spurs, horseshoes. What's the deal with this? And lots more. He was a genius who would make anything he was asked. What? What's this? Oh, that? The Dragon Slayer. <laughs> Dragon Slayer? The Dragon Slayer, that's, that's the sword. Oh, shit. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love, I love how we are finally circling back to the goal. I'm um, sorry, um, to the, to the Black Swordsman arc again. Dragon Slayer? A king sent out a, pro a, a proclamation long ago to bring him a sword that could kill a dragon, and so the Lord put me on the job. 
At that time, I'd gotten sick of doing works for nobles. Make it refined, make them elegant. Swords are just large butcher knives, after all. <coughs> Tool is meant for killing people, and so I forged it, as it was described. A sword that could butcher a dragon. Please let Guts fight a dragon somehow in the future, please. Please. So, so then, I almost got hung out to dry. So I ran away from the castle town and I've lived here quietly since. I sure was young back then. Mighty things. It could kill that all there was for me. But if anyone could handle this, I'd still just be... It'll still be a hindrance. I don't think... I don't like losing track of the essence of a tool, but that's exactly what I did here. Now it's a good reminder. Can it kill one? Could this really kill a dragon? If there were any dragons... <laughs> but you know, this ain't even what you'd call a sword. It's a meaningless slab of iron you can't even lift. For killing dragons and monsters, that ain't even real. Your friend looks like he's about to fight a dragon, though. <laughs> yeah. Seems to want to fight even after losing his hand and eye. He ain't up to the job, is he? Dragons. Are dragons because humans can't beat them? <sighs> Good. Nice little training. So tomorrow you leave? Yeah. Thanks for all your help. You... I don't have to. Guts won't tell me anything. But I really do realize. I don't want to believe it. But the band of the hawk is. I'll come up with this in the morning. Thanks. A key so, so Casca won't go outside. Okay, smart. She's like a prisoner. But you're hungry. We got it made today. Erica really outdid herself. Aw, oh, she, she really is acting like an animal. Feral, I would say. But... Better than a month ago, before she tried to, to ruin just because I was here. What are you doing, idiot? Strip, it's gonna scald. But it's also like Gus's frustration of, of this situation that is also keeping it like hard for the both of them though. <sighs> Gus just sitting down and, and just, you know, realizing that he could he can't do anything. He tried, but, but no. Just made it worse. <laughs> There's the armor. You can use knives, Guts. I had Judo teach me the ropes a long time ago. It's not my style, so that's as far as we went. It might be something I'll need this time. There. Say, why are your clothes and armor all black? Because I'll be fighting in lots of dark places. They are in the darkness. So they won't see me coming, you know? Hey, Guts, give me your left arm. Trust me. Oh, shit, Rickard's the one who implemented it. That's cool. Trust me. Um, like this... Artificial arm, huh? It's groovy. I made it from stuff in Master Godo's storehouse. It's magnetized so you can grip a sword too. And then there's this too. I help too. A little reason why it's groovy. Yup. Let's see. Face that rock and point the hand at it. Hmm? Now all now pull that metal part on this side. Right, that. Ah. You done getting it ready? Godo! Yeah, I'm about to leave. Ah, that was a close call. <laughs> Godo.
good grief going through a man's stock and trade and taking whatever you want. This is why they say mercenaries ain't no better than thieves. I owe you a lot. Heck, I'll just make him work off the, mo off the cost of the food and arms. <laughs> Poor Rickard. My farewell gift. Take it and go. I don't know who you're going off to fight or where. But you won't get far without this. I just forged it. It ain't my best, but it's damn fine. If you're careful with it, it shouldn't nick at all. As long as the sword can cut through other swords, that's all you need. <laughs> oh shit, the brands. Ah, here it comes. What's the matter? Found you. Leftovers. Not good. Who, who are you? Wait. He's my guess. I followed the scent of evil. My nose is really good. And then poor Casca though, it's like... Obviously she's gonna feel this as well and she's gonna feel hurt, but she has no idea why. At least Guts, when it, when it hurts, he, he actually at least understands like, oh shit, there's monsters about. But when it comes to Casca, it's like... She's, she's just gonna be fully confused. Oh, 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 he got big. He got big. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Oh, the hell? Guts, it's... Everybody stay back. Urge to kill. My lucky day. First one. Blacking out any fear. Ah. Yeah, 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 that's, that's... That's a panel, all right. That 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 is a two-page spread, all right. Holy Jesus! That looks incredible. Like you can see, like the individual brush strokes, and ah, uh, that's cool. This response, will it work? One damnation is this wild game. It's the first in my hunt. With this sword, I can kill it. Oh wow, this is bad. I doubt we would nick, no matter how many people he cut it with. But I didn't make that for cutting inhuman things. Well, it's lucky that you have one that is made to kill dragons, you know? <laughs> well, shit. There goes the sword. Oh, perfect timing though, because he's getting flung into the, uh, the armory. Food. Oh no, guts! I'm gonna... If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna buy it in a place like this, then why the hell did I survive? Guts, your artificial hand, pointing at that thing. Hurry, pull the metal part of the plate of the base. <laughs> yeah, there's that cannon. You gotta be kidding me! Yo, he's got a cannon in his arm. My shoulder. It's not a joint. Too much gunpowder. He sees the sword. He sees the sword. He's like, ooh, new body pillow. <laughs> I got a new sword for me to huggle um, during, during my slumber. <laughs> yep, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, I love to see it. You'll love to see it. I love how it's like a two-page spread again just to show like how ridiculously long and big it is. You held out on me, Goto. You got something much better slitted into my fight. Suited to my fight, sorry. You can wield it. That thing. You are just full of surprises. Erica. Guts right now. 
He's scary. Dragons are dragons because humans can't beat them. So what's a man who beats dragons? You're not going to say anything to Casca? Nah. Got to listen. What I, what I think is that maybe you should stay here. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to, I don't want to admit it. But the band of the hawk, the band of the hawk is gone. And now it sounds harsh. But instead of getting revenge for dead people, you should be with Casca now. It ain't over. The band of the hawk ain't gone yet. Not yet. We are still here. This war ain't over. Take care of Casca. She's our leader. Protect her. I'm captain of the raiders, so I'll raid the enemy camp. Right? Revenge. War. Maybe any reason was good enough. But one thing's for sure. Right now, there's some dismal rage inside of me. And that's all there is. Supporting these two feet. It pushes me to walk onward. Ah, there's so many great shots. So many great panels. <sighs> and off he goes. I think that's the end of the Golden Age. Yeah. Um, we start a new arc after this. Alright. Sweet. Um... That was the Golden Age arc of Berserk. I mean... <sighs> I've now reached a point where I'm going to be completely blind when it comes to every other subsequent chapters of Berserk, because as I said multiple times already in, in the past, you know, like, I know about the Golden Age, I've seen the movies, I've seen bits and pieces of the anime show, so... It's nice to see all of the new content in the manga, or at least content that was omitted from these adaptations, either due to like timing and, and scheduling and, and just like overall pacing and such. But it's nice it's nice to see all of these new content for me. Um because it it definitely does add more to like the story, the characters especially, and just the character development for Guts, Griffith, Casca getting Getting to know more about the band of the hawk and such. Really, really, you know, excellent stuff. Um, yeah, this was a fantastic arc of Berserk, that's for sure. I mean, even knowing, despite knowing um, a lot of the things that are happening or is about to happen in this arc, it still leaves me with tons of surprises and just incredible. Just looking at Miura's art and just seeing like how expressive a lot of these panels are is just a treat. and. Also, again, like, because getting further context within, like, the characters of the show and the manga here, um, just seeing, like, how Guts became who he is, to see Casca's, like, um, unfortunate and tragic, um, outcome, um, into, into who she is now, and especially with Griffith in terms of like seeing who he was before and what he became afterwards and, and what he represents because in many cases I would even say that Griffith didn't really have that much development at least in terms of like who he is as a character because Griffith, Griffith has been probably the only character that, that has been like pretty consistent with like what he is as a person because he is a character that is always following his dream and by the end of the eclipse he's still following that dream he's he's double dipping you know like he's like doubling down on the fact that yeah i want to i want to continue my dream i want to reach that castle um all of these people yeah just sacrifice them because i've already sacrificed like a thousand men what's a few dozen more you know like go right ahead no no i still do fine the most fascinating part about all of this is when he, Griffith was reminiscing about like guts and 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 realizing that out of every person, guts is the only one who was able to make Griffith forget about that dream just for a bit. And in many ways, 
and I think I've talked about this during like in the previous um video, but in many ways that is like the thing that makes Griffith hate guts the most upon retrospect. You know, like during the times when guts is with Griffith, obviously Griffith has some form of admiration or at least respect. Because let's let's not kid ourselves. Griffith still sees guts as his property. But it's more so that yeah, he is acknowledging of he he has acknowledgement of Guts's presence, and the closest that um he would consider a friend. But it's when he realizes, wait a minute, all of that time where I am with Guts, he's just slowly taking me away from my dream, and that's when he realizes, huh? God damn, Guts, I really respect you, man, but fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna steal your entire life. I'm I'm not I'm not only going to steal your girlfriend, who used to be my sword back in the day, but but not anymore, I guess. So I'm just gonna take back my property. Ooh, such evil. And I cannot wait to see. I cannot wait to see more. Like that's the thing, though. Now that I am officially done with the Golden Age arc, um, I am super excited to you know to read the rest of Berserk because now. As I said, now I am venturing into points where I have no idea where the story is going to go. This is the part where I'm completely blind of, and I'm keen to see like where Guts' development is going to go as a, as a person. I'm curious to see like how Griffith is going to handle things. There's also like certain characters who we still have no idea where they're, they are at in, I guess, in the present timeline during the Black Swordsman arc. Because, you know, like, characters like Princess Charlotte, for example, like, we don't know what has become of her, you know, and, and I'm kind of interested. I mean, she has sort of an integral part in, in Griffith's, like, conquest, you know, because obviously Griffith wanted to, to marry her and, and be her partner so that she can, so that he can secure, like, um a spot to, to claim the throne, right? But, yeah, it's it's like, Many, many um, characters that, that I wanted to see, like, how they're going to handle this this next. Like, even Rickard, you know, like, I guess now we can have an idea of, like, why we have not seen Rickard and Casca throughout the Black Swordsman arc, because these two characters are kind of stuck down there in the cave, Casca being, you know, purposefully trapped there so that she could not escape, so that the the demons won't come after her, but... Damn, that child, though. That, that demon child. The fact that it was Guts and, and, and Casca's. And it's gonna haunt him. It's gonna haunt Guts until the very end. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and review of, of, of Berserk. Um, I'm taking a break from Berserk. This was something that I've been planning on doing, so... I'm not going to be continuing with Berserk immediately, um, but I will eventually. So, see you all then. Take care, everybody. Have a nice day. Peace.